Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I'm, you guessed it, journaling in my A6 Hobonichi Techo. So I hope that you have a second to grab something that you enjoy, your planner, your journal, a drink, a snack, and let's spend some time together and get a little creative. <music> So, you know how, uh, <laughs> it's way too early to in the video for a brain fart. You know how there's an empty page at the beginning of the month in the Hobonichi notebooks? Um, I had seen this, um, post on a group I belong to on Facebook. It's like, um, mixed media and junk journals or something like that. And somebody posted this artwork, um, by Jessica Bowman and then this little thing that um, was written and I really really loved it and it was about um, kind of winter and um, I highlighted my favorite part but I love the whole thing it says winter takes away the distractions the buzz and presents us with the perfect time to rest and withdraw into a womb like love bringing fire and light to our hearth and then just around the corner, the new year will begin again. And like a seed planted deep in the earth, we will all rise with renewed energy once again to dance in the sunlight. I don't know about you, but I just liked that. I liked that the perfect time to rest and withdraw into a womb like love. That's deep. This is deep for the first couple of minutes, I know. But um, I really loved it. And I loved that artwork, like the picture of everyone kind of um, like hibernating. And, um, I just, I love that the quiet, soft way, like she talks about the way that winter, like towards this annual time of peace and reflection, embracing the darkness and forgiving, accepting and loving, embracing goodbye the past year. I think that's just, it's so beautiful. I don't know. God. And so anyways, and then I put a few more things on that page. I had already stuck down the the December calendar that I had done for the greedy weasels. Um, and so, but I just wanted to have that in my journal too, because I really loved it. So I printed it off on my computer. And then flipping to December 1st, it's that time of year again. So um, Alf came and visited and uh, he was sitting on the kids, uh, the gingerbread house that they made in Minnesota. So he was sitting on that. He was wearing a scarf, little rascal, and, uh, you know, straight from the North Pole. And I spelled out Alf with letters, like the sticker letters. And... Um, the kids were so thrilled. They were so excited. Addie couldn't believe that he had tracked in snowflakes all the way from the North Pole. Um, they're like these holographic little um, plastic snowflakes. They look amazingly similar to ones that you can buy in a pack at Michael's, but they're straight from the North Pole. So that's awesome. Uh, and I went to my mom and dad's in the morning to have a quick cup of coffee. And it didn't turn out to be quick because my mom gave me the most amazing idea for like a winter postcard to post for the greedy weasels. Oh, there's Alf's snowflake straight from the North Pole. Um, she was like, you should do all the characters caroling. And I was like, uh, genius. So I got sucked into Procreate and worked on it all freaking morning. And I think it's the thinking cutest thing that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Oh, I sent it to Walgreens to get printed in a four by or five by seven. Sorry. And um, I'm just creating this little tip in with it here. But if you want to be a greedy weasel, which is basically just supporting my channel um, by joining the channel membership on YouTube, then you can do that for 99 cents a month and you get access to all these fun things that I post. There's a whole Google Drive full of my characters and, you know, we just have a grand old time. So there's details in the description box below and a link to join. <sighs> Sorry, self-promotion over. <laughs> but you guys, I want to do this more and I have to make the Monet in order to not pick up more at work. You know how that works? Like being an adult sucks. Um, so join and give me money so I can do this, <laughs> uh, which is just tomfoolery. Um, I created a tip in also uh, on the other side of the picture. There was a little house collage from a real simple magazine. And then I got out my vintage 
uh, or the antiquarian sticker book and this clown guy that looks like he's falling. Well, I drew him kind of uh, like falling off a ladder because I actually cleaned the gutters on Monday. Um, I don't know what got into me really. Um, <laughs> but I was afraid that I was going to fall off the ladder because I do not have a good track record with ladders, actually. So probably not my swiftest, brightest idea, but I'm fine. <laughs> my friend texted me and she goes, <laughs> what'd she say? She goes, hey, fiddler, <laughs> did you break any bones? <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, I thought that was so clever. <laughs> And uh, anyways, so I'm just writing that I cleaned the gutters and then those black things are to represent the stickers, um, like the disgustingness that I pulled out of the gutters that almost scared me half to death. I think it was probably years worth of like molded leaf debris and I was afraid there was going to be a dead bat. I don't know why, but I just had the phobia, uh, but I'm all in one piece. So no fear. <laughs> And I kind of like how it looks. <laughs> and then I put some cat washi tape. And um, it was like 60 degrees. That's why I think I got the wild hair to get up and clean the gutters. And then when I picked up the kids from school, Addie and her friend Eva had already, they had planned like to ambush me and say, can I go over to Eva's house and play after school? And it, it worked out fine. We didn't have any plans on Wednesday, so I ended up dropping her off at her friend Eva's. Um, and they had a, a really good time for like an hour and a half. And it was actually rather convenient because I had a pork loin to put in the oven. And so with her being gone, it was, you know, 90 minutes less that I had to hear of her saying, What are you making for dinner? It smells so revolting. So... I was, it was a win-win. <laughs> that piece of collage of the kid eating the spoon full of food, the spoon, <laughs> that's supposed to represent Henry. And um, we just had some peace and quiet, you know, while Addie was gone and um, before the, the terror of the pork loin. And she did walk in the door and say, what is that smell? Oh my gosh, mom, what are you cooking? <laughs> oh God, I love her. Ah, so turning the page to Thursday, I decided to um, letter Thursday with my uh, mild liner pens. And I kind of put used a darker shade of pink sort of on the downstrokes. I kind of don't know what possessed me to do that. I'm feeling so arty and fancy. And I think it looks cute. Uh, I do end up adding a drop shadow later because I'm just a beast and I can't be stopped. But anyways, Thursday, I um, again started out the, the morning with a quick cup of coffee. Um, and then I had a bunch of errands to run. So I put that to-do list and the picture of the little um, gerbil hamster in the cup eating a seed. It's because I had to buy gerbil food and I had a lot of errands to run, which basically ended with me going to Ulta and just buying more than what I needed. I, I don't go there very often, but when I do, I just find so many things that I, <laughs> that I need. <laughs> and so I used the little vintage girl sticker of the girl, like shaking the coins out of her purse. <laughs> ah, yeah. Too true. Too true. And then the sticker of the Pusheens, the, the uh, sticker flake of them like high-fiving. Henry and Addie got their second va uh, dose of the vaccine on after school on Thursday. So very excited about that. Hopefully we are, um, you know, protected like for the next five minutes um, or at least something. We're helping the world. We're trying to do our part. And uh, so I just was writing about that, how they had their appointment. And um, I cut out a picture that I had taken of Alf because we found him in the morning in um, the little like candy dish. I think it's actually a spoon rest on the kitchen table. And he was eating sprinkles out of a bowl, which was actually a bottle cap. And it was so weird because Addie had asked him on Wednesday night, I wonder what your favorite food is, Alf. And the little shit, he must have been listening because 
He wrote her a note and everything and said that sprinkles were his favorite food. And that's why he was there eating them. And so um, Addie said I could put his note that he left uh, in my journal, which I thought was adorable. And um, I made a little tippin out of this envelope that someone sent me that had uh, sticker flakes in it. And I thought it was so cute. Um, so I just cut the little picture out of Alf and uh, wrote that. You know, now we know that his favorite food is sprinkles, which is so cool. And um, she also wanted to know what he pooped or if he pooped. Alf hasn't filled us in on that little bit yet, but there's still time. There is still 21 days. So just you wait. I'm sure Alf will give us the lowdown. <laughs> um, uh, when I got done with my errands, I was so tired, I could not function. So I just took a nap. I laid in bed and watched YouTube and took a nippity nappity. And it was fantastic. Uh, as per the last time I used McDonald's as uh, bribery to get the um, needles in the thighs, you know, um, without too much like screaming. I mean, there was a little screaming. <laughs> <laughs> but it was short-lived and then they got a McFlurry and a cheeseburger so I'd call that a win <laughs> oh, and then I put in a little sticker that says dance um, and I had had drop Addie off at dance at 5 45 and then I'm just adding hearts um, when she got home from dance I made the mistake of saying, gosh, you know what sounds really nice? A bath, a warm bath just sounds really good. And so, of course, since it was something that I wanted, she had to stop it immediately. <laughs> but I want to take a bath. <laughs> I want the blueberries now. <laughs> Oh, anyways, so um, she hijacked my tub. She hijacked my bathtub, <clears throat> and um, I did not get to take a warm bath because uh, she did instead. <laughs> you gotta love her. So I spelled, I know, I know you do, fatty. Um, so I spelled out bathtub hijacker with letters because, uh, gee, she is good at that. Just stealing right out from underneath you anything you want. <laughs> Couldn't love her more. <laughs> oh. And um, that brings us to today, Friday. I put in a little um, washi number. Oh, my, my, my brain. <laughs> and spelled out Friday because I already had those letter stickers just staring right there at me. And uh, I wanted to find the perfect sticker because... The kids just wowed me with their musical talent on the way to school today. They wanted to borrow my iPhone and play with it. And the result was something that was nothing short of incredible. And uh, the reason why I love these kids so much. Uh, and so I had to journal about that using some sticker flakes and uh, a sticker that says musical memories that was sent to me by a friend so perfect in this instance and then the antiquarian stickers of the uh boogieing like man and woman um and then a speech bubble that is gonna say yo henry drop me a backbeat hey yo drop me a backbeat <laughs> You certainly can't fake that funk. So <laughs> I had to journal about that. Oh, I love them so much. And I put in the little laughing um, Goranian cat sticker flake um, and just, you know, wrote about that. And then it actually doubled as a little uh, giggling cat because next to it, at the end, I write that we found Alf in the Christmas tree this morning, little rascal. Uh, and I did, I did a thing. I made a phone call this morning that has been five years, four years too late, four years and six months too late. I scheduled a tooth cleaning for myself. 
<laughs> and so I put that face the music sticker. Everyone else gets their, you know, ish taken care of. But me, it just always gets pushed back. So it's been a while, but I scheduled the appointment. And uh, I like that cleverly disguised as an adult sticker because uh, that's what I am. <laughs> cleverly, cleverly disguised. And uh, then I put in a sticker that says that I have to work tonight because I do. And, like, I got to leave, like, real soon. That's a bummer. And um, I put some some needles from my <laughs> nurse sticker book on the Pusheens getting their shots. And wrote in that Addie got invited to go play with a friend tonight at this, like, trampoline place <clears throat> that's new it's like a cross between a trampoline gym park and a kids warrior gym so let's just all say a small a small thorough prayer that she comes home in one piece and we don't have a cast for christmas um but regardless i'm sure she'll have a wonderful time and um I'm sure that, you know, we've already met our insurance premium for the year, so our deductibles. So, you know, small favors. Uh, this is my journaling, and <laughs> I am so happy that you guys were here with me today. And I will be sure and see you again soon. I hope that you're having a good month. Hang in there. Always remember you're not alone.